Well, hello everyone. It is Dennis and Andy, and today we are doing the movie review of the movie Missing. We went and checked it out. Um, this is going to be different because unlike other reviews that we do that are non-spoilers, this one, honestly, besides just talking about the performances and what has been seen in the trailer... All we can do is give you our opinion of what we thought of it, because anything really it is a spoiler. This one, it, it is definitely unique. Um, you know, the if you've seen the trailer, it's basically a girl's living with her, her mother, single uh, mother. Um, mother goes on trip with boyfriend. They go and have a good time. She's worried about her daughter, makes... Make sure she's GPS tracked and daughter winds up throwing a party, has a nice time, goes to pick up mother and boyfriend and mother and boyfriend never get off plane, which then starts the entire movie of her using basically internet tools and anything available. She is a very um, technology she's, friendly yeah. girl. She's so the daughter's 18. We can tell you that she, the whole movie is seen through basically uh, if you're in the computer looking out. Um, because the girl is very tech savvy, like Dennis says. She uses, they go to Columbia, the, the, the mother and boyfriend, that's not a spoiler. Um, she uses uh, TaskRabbit. But for Columbia to hire this guy to go looking for stuff in Columbia and and but the whole movie, there's no like real shots in the movie. It's all seen through a screen somehow, it, you know, whether it's a security camera or or the ring video doorbell. That's what you're seeing is what uh, she's looking at on her computer, basically. The budget for this movie had to be fairly low because the bulk of it takes place in the house, in front of her computer, in her bedroom, on her phone. You know, there's been other movies where they grab your phone and they're like, oh, you can see them texting. Okay. Yeah, that's not what this is. You actually get to see her texting, how she goes in and starts using Google and location tracking and mapping and all of these tools and how you backwards try and find somebody and how you can dig in passwords. I will say this. I was like, wow, there is so much technology in here. This is going to get boring, but I have never been more suspenseful watching people trying to figure out passwords or trying to figure out, Oh my God, I could do this on an app. It was surprisingly, um, I, I actually learned some stuff about like uh, what you can do with Google and stuff that I didn't really know about. So that was interesting to me. Uh, I'm trying to look if IMDb says anything about the budget. I don't think it does. Um, yeah, yeah, it couldn't have been much. And um, so then we, we do have to talk to actors. Um, um, Grace is Neil Long. She was yep. a great mother. She's the mother. She, she was, she very well played the part in, you know, her and her daughter don't have a great relationship. And the daughter is June bug is what her mom and, and dad had always called her um, played by uh, storm Reed. I'm not all that familiar with storm Reed. And, um, but I thought she was fantastic. She conveyed emotion. I liked her dialogue, her interactions. When she was angry, she was angry. When she was shocked, I mean, I, I thought she did really good. And um, Ken Lung, 
played Kevin, which is the boyfriend. And I was like, oh, wow, I yeah. recognize him from a yeah, whole bunch. You recognize them all. Yeah. So he here's the funny great. thing. Here, here's the funny thing, trivia wise, and this isn't a spoiler. Uh, I didn't know this. This movie is a standalone sequel to the movie Searching from 2018 that starred John Cho. This movie starts with a docu with docudrama footage based off the events of that film. Oh, I did not know that either. So now I want to go watch Search Searching because I didn't uh, I didn't know about it. Uh, this film takes place in June 2022. And uh, that's about all trivia-wise, without spoilers, we can tell you. Um, yeah, I thought all the acting was good. Tim Griffin has a part in the movie as well. Um, as Dennis said, Ken Luong plays Kevin. He did a great job. Well, Amy he, Landecker he, 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 plays a woman named Heather, who is Grace Allen's best friend and attorney. Um we had just seen it's, Ken in um, that movie Old. I mean, as soon as I saw him, I'm like, oh, I remember him way back because he was one of the big guys in middle, later parts of Lost because we knew him from Lost. Yeah. And, of course, why it was a terrible show, he did play Karnak from The Inhumans. That is true. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's not much really more to say about it. I agree with Dennis. I thought the performances were strong as well. You know, the characters I liked, I liked. And then, um, you know, there were some character arcs, of course, and some twists and turns in this movie uh, that were unexpected. Yeah. Uh, it's a running time of about two hours. She winds up getting a hold in Columbia, like you said, from one of those hats because the FBI can't help her. So she gets a hold of Joaquim Delamita, one of my favorite actors. I just love everything that, that he did, and he plays Javier. And it's not just an errand boy. They actually develop this nice relationship. They get a little personal, and it actually winds up being another really surprising long distance relationship that you went oh that is cool this movie had heart you know and you were constantly oh i think i got this figured out because andy knows me i'm always trying to figure shit out right away so i'm sitting there going oh i think i've got this figured out oh, oh damn didn't see that coming well if that's it then i i, I do it. so i'm always sitting here trying to figure out who did it, what happened, you know, and I got some of the stuff on and other ones were twists galore, which is one reason we can't talk about it. I'm like, oh, dang, didn't see that coming. This I will say there was one cool. scene, you know, you said the movie had heart and there's one scene when the, uh, the daughter, June, you know, like, you know, the whole premise is her mom's missing and stuff. And her mom kept telling her, early on clear out your voice messages so i can leave you a voicemail if i have to you know and there was a scene where she went to her voice messages and listened to a few of her mom's voice messages and it got her choked up and stuff because she doesn't know if she's ever going to see her mom again blah 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 and i tell you that actually really hit home because after my dad passed away in 2015 i still had i have his last voice message that he left me which was wishing uh my wife and I, uh, a happy anniversary and stuff. And, you know, I, of course, called him back after that. But I kept that voice message and every now and then I'll listen to it. So that 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 one really did hit home. You know, I was like, oh, I know exactly how that is because yep. I'll listen to my dad's every now and then. So yeah, see, I thought that was good. I agree. I, I mean, I was almost going to quote Gene Hackman from The Replacements, you know, and they're like, coach, what? What could you do to make this movie better? It needs heart. It needs heart. And then Keanu Reeves walks in. That's the only thing missing from, from this movie. But seriously, the acting was good. The story was good. I wasn't bored at all. And I thought for no. sure I was this was going to be a snoozer. I thoroughly enjoyed it. This was so much better than I anticipated. So awesome. Andy, what are you giving it for your CGC review? I'll give it an 
Nice. We're in the ballpark. I'm giving it a 9.0. I Damn. thought it was really good. Wasn't bored. I li- There was very little I liked about it. Even the spot with Heather, you know, when you start figuring out and you're, you're doing it. This kept me going the entire time. For a very s- stationary type of movie, it kept going. So absolutely recommend it. Do you need to see it in the theater? It's such a good movie, I'd recommend it. But it's not one of these blockbuster explosions that has to be seen in 3D and no. IMAX. But, man, if you want a good movie to go see, I would go see it. There you go. That is uh, that is the review. Of course, we have let, to talk let, about... Let's do the rating. Uh, oh, um, what's the rating? It's got a solid 7.4 because IMDb is always low. And critics on Rotten Tomatoes are giving it an 83. Audience is giving it a 90. Wow. So look, look at that. Well, right up there again. Who likes this movie. So congratulations. Yeah. I hope it does well in the box office. That is awesome. And speaking of doing well in a crowdfunding box office, Core Draft The Reckoning. That's right, guys. You can still go get it. It's the story of Core Draft and his, uh, his, uh, his girlfriend, uh, sorceress Adriana as they need to find out the mystery of who slaughtered his tribe and why. What was the person after? It's a nice mystery. It's a barbarian tale. Definitely check it out. Bunch of different covers to choose from. We like to give people a lot of options. You can read pages one through eight by clicking here. That'll also take you to cordrath.com where there's a lot more visuals and stuff to check out. We've got, uh, as soon as it loads, there we go. We've got all the different covers. There's an artist edition that spotlights the black and white artwork, scanned in full color so you can see the, the gradations in the ink, the whiteout, pencil smudging, all that fun stuff. So you can check that out. We've got two different t-shirts. Yes, I'm scrolling a little quick because... Survey says if I scroll quick, that'll make you go, well, I want to see it. And you can if you click the link below. And then you can take your time. There's a game module. Dennis has written a very cool game that you can play, role-playing game. Here's the t-shirts. Oh, the badass Cordrath shirt. The beautiful Bud Root art on a shirt featuring Lilineth. And of course, there's a beanie for if your little head gets cold like mine does. In fact, my fingers are cold. I just gave myself brain freeze by touching my head. That's a surprise to no one because I get chilly easy. We've got character cards that everybody's going to get when they buy the book at no extra cost. A map. A map that Dennis made. So you know what's happening in the Shadow Reach. You can track everything. That's right. So guys, go check out Cordrath, The Reckoning. We are working hard on it. I wrapped up a page earlier before we recorded this. Um, Check it out. And for everybody that has backed it, thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. You know, I I can't say it enough. We can't make this book without your support and your help. Um, There's a lot that goes into this besides being able to pay us to to do it. Print cost, paying the other creators like the colorist and the letterer, paper costs, all this stuff. So go check it out. Uh, We strongly uh, feel that you will love it. And uh, we'll be back uh, soon with another movie review. So go check out Missing and let us know what you thought of that as well. Bye-bye, everybody. everybody. (gasps) Prosper. Retribution! Oh yeah, we want retribution!